so i realized in the last video i didn't really explain a particular thing properly so i want to take a quick moment to explain that and then make some minor modifications to our code now over in my editor in the end game function i didn't really explain why we use the set timeout call here so that's what i'll explain in this video and the reason i call the set timeout method here and passed in a thousand milliseconds is because whenever the user answers a question whether wrong or right we're going to play the correct sound or the wrong sound after half a second which is 500 milliseconds now if we try to redirect before the sound plays which is before the 5000 milliseconds which happens in our end game function if we try to redirect or if this code tries to run when the sound has not played we're going to have an error because at that point the quiz or the play component has unmounted so it's not going to have access to that code and then to try an error so that's why i had to call the set timeout method here to wait for 1000 milliseconds which is one second so by then the 5000 milliseconds for the, the 500 milliseconds for the sounds up here would have elapsed this 500 milliseconds here can't even find the code anymore let me just go slower where is this so the 500 milliseconds here would have elapsed if we wait or if we call the redirect after 1000 milliseconds so that's the reason for using this set timeout here i also want to change things a bit here notice where we call where we play our game sounds up here we are using the get element by id dom method which works but i want to change this to using refs in react and basically refs let us access dom elements from our component now i'll be creating two refs for our correct answer and our wrong answer audio so up here in my constructor this dot wrong sound will be the first one it's going to be called to a call to react dot create ref and that creates a ref called wrong sound we also want to make another ref called correct sound i'll just put that one at the top here so this dot correct sound is going to be called to react dot create ref now down at the bottom in our render where where we have our audios i'll change this id from correct answer to correct sound so it's going to be a ref it's going to be called to this dot correct sound and for the wrong one also it will be ref is equal to this dot wrong sound and while we're here we can also change this one to also button sound so the ref will be this dot button sound and i'll just copy this up here and create the ref for the button sound over my constructor so this dot button sound what am i doing so this dot button sound is equal to react dot create ref now in all our calls to play an audio we simply reference the ref so i quickly find where we call the play method because there's so much code here right now I use Ctrl F to get that. So now, instead of calling documents dot get element by ID correct answer dot play, we'll call this dot correct sound dot current. Will return us the DOM element with this ref, and then calling the play method on it. Also for the wrong answer, we'll call this dot wrong sound dot current dot play. And that should play the wrong sound for us and i need to find the third call to play so this would be this dot 
button sound dot current dot play so we are now using refs instead of using ids to target elements in our dom now if i visit our application back again and we'll just play and see if our sounds still work so let's answer wrong does not play this is the wrong sound dot current dot play cannot read property null of undefined so i guess we have a typo somewhere wrong sound let me first check the ref wrong sound okay and then on my on the audio tags i am take the dub video so that's why it didn't work now let's try again and see answer wrongly it works let's answer correctly it works okay our button sounds also work so in this video we i uh, we changed our calls to document or get element by id to using refs and i explained why we use the set timeout in the end game function i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for staying with me